Hello my friends and welcome to this pick a card reading which is messages from your higher self. So you have three piles to choose from. You have pile one which is this black moonstone. Pile one. Pile two this is rubellite or pink tourmaline. And pile three, this is golden healer quartz. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. Timestamps will be in the description box below, and I'll see you at your reading. Bye. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. This is messages from your higher self. Um... This is almost t telling me that you, there's a sense of you looking within your shadow self as well. Um, black moonstone um, represents the new moon. So it's about going inwards. Um, and this kind of sense of introspection is going to be um, helpful for you to be able to, to access these messages from your higher self. Really interesting. Your higher self is also telling you that you need to be quite um, clear. You know, there's there's some there's some real kind of like sharp edges here, and there's a clear defined shape um, where we have it. It look it actually looks like a gemstone. Do you know what I mean? Like an actual like gemstone that you would have like an icon. So there's this sense of you know being quite clear. Um, not transparent you don't have to be transparent but you just have to be clear and also the sense of black moonstone um sometimes people can cannot see that so your higher self is kind of telling you to be clear so i'll pop that over there let's see what card because i don't know what this is the gift wow okay <laughs> this is interesting because this gift is if i'm correct this is like pandora's box um there's kind of like a almost like not knowing what your potential is if you decide to unravel it if you decide to open it um there may be a little bit of a sense of you feeling that You're scared of success in a way, um, or you're scared of maybe the potential that you have. Um, I'm just having a quick perusal in the book for what it says here. Um, but that was the first thing that came to me. Yeah, it's Pandora. I thought that. That's Pandora's box. So, <laughs> um, Be careful of stepping into situations that you may not be able to get out of. Retreat from complex situations. That's what this is saying. That's what the card is saying. But I don't know. I, I What I personally get is... Like, sometimes you think that maybe the information that you hold... It may have more potential than you realise. And I think that's what your higher self is like starting off this message with. It's saying that you hold you hold the key to something that you don't know the potential of yet. Okay, let's see what your tarot is going to say. Five of Swords. Knight of Coins. Pile One. What is Pile One's higher self wanting to say to Pile One? What is Pile One's higher self wanting to say to Pile One? Empress. What is Pile One's higher self wanting to say to Pile One? Okay, you just want four. Yeah, it's almost like you the, the potential of this gift is not known yet. Like I feel that you need to, there's some time that you need to take in order to really ascertain what it is that you, that there's something that you have. There's some, something that, that kind of like, um, that kind, that, that is giving you, that is potential. Um, 
and also knowing the right place of when to use this it could also be in the sense of yourself you know about knowing like what steps to take um coming forward um like you know knowing which when like in sense of divine timing so when is the right time to unleash this because you know she got given the box she got given the box like what was she gonna do with the box <laughs> do you know what I mean like she was gonna have to open it um but the timing and sometimes there's no there is no divine timing or like whenever the time you do open it is the divine time you know so we've got the empress and the queen of cups here the empress is you know all the four queens in a good state um so it's almost like you're waiting for the ripening of this of this gift your higher self is telling you that you you have um you have all of the power of those four queens do not be defeated do not be um put down by people who do not believe in your power there's a sense of um there's a sense of people trying to put you down they are um or they're trying to do something where that you're they're trying to undermine you basically but with this queen of cups energy as well you may have a mentor um that's an older woman um or a woman that's kind of like in a space where she was the one that may, might have given you the gift do you know what i mean or might have alert, alerted you to the gift um saying that yeah you've got this potential i think like yeah um are you going to kind of continue on with it but what I'm getting here more than anything is that you have the support, but you have to adopt a particular attitude towards it. Even though you have the the drive of a knight, um, it has to be the knight of coins, which is the one who kind of waits and sees what is the... They're, they're the ones who stand and they watch, you know? So, yeah. Let's have a look. I want to pull some oracle cards for you. moderation reversed now because moderation is reversed what i feel is like your higher self is saying to you kind of a bit of um you don't need to moderate yourself um that definitely falls in line with what's coming up here you don't need to because actually if you do moderate yourself then you know in in the respect of you accepting defeat then that might be detrimental to you but i feel like I feel like there's this worry, like you're really worried about whether or not you're going to be accepted, whether or not you're going to be, um, like you're just worried about whether or not this is the right time to like unleash this gift. And it's like no time is the right time, is it? I just feel that you, you've got to kind of just go for it. Um, but you'll know when the right time, it, like do it, this is the thing, right? Recently, I had to make a decision where I had to, I was waiting for, for a long time whether or not to make to, to make this move. I was actually wondering if I wasn't going to have to make it. I thought that, you know, I was waiting on a phone call and basically this phone call never came. And because I was waiting for this phone call, what I did was then I decided, right, I'm going to put myself a deadline and I'm going to make a phone call at this time. And... I'm telling you, after I decided, I, I just did it. I was like still debating whether or not I was going to do the phone call, whether or not I was going to take it, or whether or not I was going to actually take the action to do it rather than wait for the person to call me. And then in the end, I called or I, I messaged. And I tell you, I feel so much freer for it. Do you know what I mean? Regardless of what the outcome is, I just feel that I took action. I did what I needed to do and that's all that matters. So as long as you're doing that, you know, rather than, oh, should I, shan't I? Is this the right time? Is it not? Think about it. Work it out strategically in terms of a time of when you want to do this. This could be like you un unleashing a business, setting up your brand, doing like a particular workshop on some day, maybe planning a wedding, something, something, yeah, that's going to involve like maybe even like, a christening or something like that um but there could be you know stick to the date just stick to the date and see what happens still be open to the fact that like when as time com comes on you might not do the thing that you were supposed to do on that date but then lo and behold i ended up i i said the date that i was going to do it and i still wasn't sure whether or not i was going to do make this uh, text 
And I ended up sending the text on that day. And I didn't, I was still umming and ahhing about it. So yeah, I would say like, you know, make a plan. It's similar to what I said about one of the readings um, about grieving, you know, something that seems so obscure, you would still grieve um, or you, you schedule in grieving. It's crazy, but I'm telling you, it works. Um, so um, Venus, um, and knowing that you've got that coming up and you know that, you know that that's going to happen at that time, it kind of gives you a sense of relief, you know? Um, so Venus, we've also got Empress energy as well. So there's a lot of strength here in the respect of you embracing your, your, your divine feminine here. In, in the, like even I've said about you planning when you're going to do this, it may come up to the point, as I just mentioned in that story, that you might not do it, you know? And that's still a valid response. But if you're planning to do it and you're thinking, right, I'm gonna do it then, you know? You can see how you feel up to that point. And that's the thing about Venus. She's so changeable, she's so volatile. You know, but when you've got that 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 goal in place, it kind of allows you to temper it slightly because the, the divine feminine is so out there, like you have no control over it at all. It's very yeah, it's very out there. Let's get you some animal energy. So higher self of pile of pile one. Higher self of pile one. So you have the starfish. Very regenerative, regenerative energy here. Amazing. So the starfish. So interesting how it's like beautiful and alluring, and we've got like this image here of the gift of Penelope, um, of Persephone here. Persephone? Is it Persephone? No, Pandora. Sorry, Pandora. And then we also have Venus, and then we also have this Empress and Queen of Cups energy. So there may be this sense that you are not being taken seriously. Um, and people like are really enchanted by your energy. Your higher self is saying to you, don't let people like take you for granted about this, you know, people people will do that because they, they, they kind of get entranced by your aura. So yeah, tell them, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow you to, you know, particularly when it comes to like unleashing this gift or exposing this gift, you know? So, okay, let's see. Get some shamanic omens. Interesting. So yeah, look out for the signs. If you also communicate with your higher self, tell, ask your higher self to show you. Ask your higher self to, to um, tell you what it is. Um, if you're on the right path, you know? If you have problems about asking what this gift is or what this thing is, Ask them, ask them to show you. And, but I'm telling you, places like meditation, that will be like the best time for when you can communicate to your higher self. But the gift, okay, let's see. Well, can you tell us more about this gift? And let's see, a bit more information. So it was sideways. I'll take it upright. No, I think I will take it reverse. You know why? Because I just got negative self-talk. If you're, if you're talking to yourself negatively about, oh, should I, shan't I? What am I going to do? Oh, no, I'm like thinking whether or not this is the right time. You're going to block it out. You need to like, yeah, that needs to stop, part one. Again, another one that went all like thingy. You've got Page of Swords. Yeah, there's just a lot of thinking going on, pile. Part one, a lot of thinking, like meditation for sure. It'd be really nice if you could like not be like, <laughs> okay, nine of cups, queen of cups and the ace of cups. This is about self-love. This is about you being able to show the love to yourself. Um, even when people don't recognize the divinity within you, when people don't see that within you. Um, 
and also when people deny you wishes, deny you things, deny you um, stuff. And I've got a feeling that this Queen of Cups, she may either be a mentor or someone that has said to you no about something or she ended up not having something. She ended up not getting her wishes fulfilled. So she may be trying to help you in order to like, you know, to see someone get, get what they need. I don't get a, a negative energy from that Queen of Cups. I get a very good energy. Um, she wants to help. She really wants to help you. Um, and it's almost like creating this abundance and this flow. Pile one, if you go anywhere near water, go, go to water, right? Just do it. Yeah, I feel like you need to do like either some open air swimming, go to like anywhere that's got like big bodies of water, the sea or something like that. Do something like that because there's something connected with your um with the mother line that's needing to be that's needing to be purged so that you can harness this gift so that you can bring it out. Um okay. So, I'm going to pull um some extraterrestrial stroke um like higher self, like seeing how your how extraterrestrials are connecting with your higher self. Wow. Okay, so we've got the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life, integration, life lessons, emanation. So that that matches with this whole thing of like going back to this sense of the mother side, the self. Um, Ten of Pentacles in many decks actually looks like. Um, it looks like the mother. I'll see if I can find it in this deck. But it's a very powerful um, kind of figure. And I think, you know, when you're when you're looking back towards that mother line and seeing what what kind of influences they have on you and about whether or not they allow you to unleash your gifts. Because that's what that's about. I really do think that. I feel like I feel like it's all about you've got something very special here and you're just you're just like how do I unleash it because it could be too much for some people it could be something that that people don't like um I don't know if my family will like it um I don't you know there's just all this negative chat chitter chatter jibber jabber that's going on that's taking you away from these and you're also like you may also be missing out on some stuff so I would say like do everything you can to move out of that space where you are holding yourself back. And as I said, it's not just about you going mad and um, and about you just unleashing it where, where and when you like. It's more about like it's more about understanding the timing uh, and the power of your gift and then knowing when to do that and having the freedom to have the choice to do that. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's the Ten of Pentacles here. And that's that kind of, it's we, on many of the Ten of Pentacles in the tarot, you'll find like there is an image of the Kabbalah, of the Tree of Life even. So, and then there's this mother that's holding the whole family together. You know, you've got the female and the male here. So I just think, I thought that was really interesting about going back to ancestral lines and considering that I'm using this deck as well. Okay, so I'll pull you some angel... Um, messages from your higher self okay you got two my loves you got angelic light body and you got vulnerability so you're you're surrounded i think you, you really do have a green light for you to be vulnerable in your respect to how you work with this gift how you work with it um because you're really there's a real fear around it there's a fear there's a holding back it's not too bad right but it's your higher self is saying to you you're, you're ready now you're ready to to really work with this gift now um and being vulnerable in that state will allow us to come in and help you be protected like your higher self will work around your guardians, your angels, your ancestors. They will all work together in order to bring some, bring you the protection that you need in order to bring this forward. You got this. You got this. And it's really like, it's like they're saying you're ready. You're ready to do this. Memory. Forget me not, New Zealand Red Admiral, memory. 
So remembering yourself. I, th yeah, remembering yourself, pile one. Remembering who you are, remembering the truth of who you are is going to be something that's really integral. That's what your higher self is telling you. It's saying to you, remember who you are. Remember that you have this gift to give to the world. And don't be shy in, um, in unleashing that gift. Be, be um, calculated and recognize that this is the right time for you to do this, for you to step into a place of love and of joy because you are supported. You are, you are speaking for um, the female side of your line by doing this and it's very important that you do. Incredible, love it. Love this so much, Pile One. What a powerful reading. If you did like this reading, please do like it. Please do subscribe for more videos. But otherwise, I wish you all the best. Um, and thank you so much for allowing me to channel your higher self to give this message to you. You take care. Have a beautiful day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. What does your higher self want to tell you? You chose the rubellite or the pink tourmaline and this part here. So first and foremost, I'm getting something that's very beautiful. I've always loved pink rubellite. It's to do with the heart chakra, the higher level heart chakra. The heart chakra has three sections to it. Um, and this is of the higher heart. Um, the more like the passionate heart, the heart that's got to do, sorry, not the higher heart, actually, it's the lower heart, I do, do excuse me. It's actually to do with like the lower kind of heart that is to do with um, sexual love, to do with love for others, um, love in interactions. Um, yeah, so there's something about soothing your heart here. Your higher self is giving you a message to, it's kind of giving you a big cuddle and saying it's going to be all right. It's gonna be okay. I always feel like Ruby Light is, is like kisses. It's like just gentle kisses. Um, and just giving me a big hug and just saying, you're okay. You know, like you would kiss a squidgy little baby because you love it and you think it's so adorable. Um, or a beautiful puppy and you just, you know, you just think it's so adorable. That's the kind of love that's here. Even though that may not be connected with like kind of sensual love, it's still, you know, that kind of tactile, you know, love that comes under that um, category. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And then your card is, wow, the serpent. <laughs> that's why we're getting the sexual energy. <laughs> okay, right. So, um, hi, self yourself of pile two what is it that you would like to say i'm just double checking the book i mean this is about self-sabotage um your higher self is telling you not to sabotage yourself not to let um temptations and things that may distract you um, from what you're doing um, to possibly spoil something that you're working on or that you're you're kind of that you're kind of doing. Um, there's this sense that where like this serpent doesn't care. It's ignoring at the tr tree roots, and it doesn't care that the tree needs to live but without the, the tree the worlds break apart and fade away but the hung the serpent hungers and desires to consume everything and anything that stands in his way he stays beneath the soil devouring the roots in his path awaiting the time when he will be released from the tree to reunite with his brethren so here it says like yeah it's stay the course despite the stress i think like there may be some people who are trying to like naysay maybe maybe you know, kind of feeding some some kind of things into your brain to, to make you doubt yourself, which is why, you know, you need this kind of like love. You need this like sense of knowing that you got you and your higher self is saying to you, you, you got you. 
Don't be listening to these haters, yo. Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, right. So I will pull some astrology for you. Higher self of pile two. What would you like to say? Libra. Okay, right. I'm going to pop that there. We don't do many cards in this, so it's a bit shorter, these readings. Um... What I'm getting from this is that you don't have to people please, yeah? You don't have to people please, you don't have to... Your higher self is saying, you know, you've got a good balance, you kind of understand it, you understand the dynamics between different people and you can harmonise a particular situation, you can allow, you can allow uh, leeway of all that, but don't compromise yourself, you know? Because with that serpent card, I'm just getting that sense of compromising. Let's pull some animal magic, um, animal for you. A hawk. It was reversed. So your higher self is telling you to um, get your perspective on a situation. And also, like, you know, get, move out of the dynamic of other people. Um, come away from it and have a look at what's going on. Hawks can eat serpents. So that's what you want. You want you want the um, you want the serpent to um, be eaten. <laughs> so um, so you want to yeah you want to um, gain a higher perspective, but don't get too involved in the. in the needs of other people because this is i feel like there's a bit of a people pleasing thing going on here um this is your higher self yeah not me <laughs> i'm like <laughs> okay okay pile two's higher self what would you like to say pile two's higher self Parenting, 63, interesting. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Great. Um, parenting yourself, looking after yourself. You may be parents, pal, to... Hmm. Yeah, because it's that overseer energy, isn't it? Because if you're too into something and you're too in there, you don't have the ability to gain a sense of perspective. And your higher self is saying to you, like, you have to step back because it's almost like there's a sense of you needing to look after yourself within this situation. Because with this gnawing at the root, it's not allowing you to, um, to, uh, to look after yourself properly. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to pull one of these as well. Divine timing, interesting. I think, yeah, when you're trying to like rush around to please everyone, it kind of gets a little bit tiresome, doesn't it? So you you need to, and look again, we've got this like eye, eye here, and then the eye of the hawk. There's a sense of needing to step back, needing to needing to uh, yeah step back from the situation and get a higher sense of perspective. Okay, pile two's higher self. What does pile two's higher self want to say to pile two? Thank you for the four cards, because that's all I wanted. Right, okay. Hmm, yeah. It's not wanting to upset this situation, what's happened. It may have been like a falling out of something. But what's really interesting is that this, this is actually really good. It's really good because I feel like there was a sense of you not, you, you, do you know what I really see by this? This is Sleeping Beauty, yeah, but what I see is her feet and her feet is, it looks like they're bleeding, you know, walking on eggshells, um, having to having to say something just in case that this person might be like a little bit 
it might be a bit weird for you to, to say something. Um, otherwise they might get upset. And it's almost like they're going to get upset anyway, regardless of what you say. So you're just going to have to say it or you're just going to have to do what you're going to do. But it's but you don't want to damage yourself in the process. Um, and it's almost like you can see the potential of this situation. There is a lot of love in this situation. There's a lot of, uh, you know, seeing that this could be something that, you know, you, you, you want everyone to be happy, you know. Um, but your higher self is saying you can't make everyone happy. You can try, but you can't. <laughs> it's really difficult to make people happy um, in that specific situation. Um, yeah. So, you need to please yourself. That's what the Queen of Coins is about. And the Hanged Man is actually like taking action on that rather than standing, than, than hanging back and watching it all. Let's see what um, extraterrestrial energies there are for you, which your higher self is communicating. Okay, well, this makes sense. The Alpha Draconians. So, you know, corrupt, unethical cults. I don't know, I put that there last time. So, this is about coercive thinking. About how like a group allows you to like be coerced into a state of thinking. Um, and I know like Libra personalities, it can be very difficult if you are a Libra. I know I, <laughs> it's one of your character traits. But um, just be careful about who it is that you're, because look, we've got two reptiles here. So there's, there's, peop there's people involved here that are in for their own gains um they're cold-blooded so it's not this is not something not to say that you know cold-blooded animals are bad but i'm just saying on the respect of on a metaphorical sense this is this is people or uh, energies that are really wanting to work out for their own ends even though you're trying to make it a fair and balanced situation that there's this energy that's not and what your higher self is telling you is that you need to understand that sometimes you can't win all the battles sometimes you can't please everyone else and sometimes you're going to have to walk away in order to like save yourself you know let them do what they're doing let them save themselves let them like kind of fight their own thing that's going on okay let's have a look at um some angelic Actually, no, before I do that, I will do some... It's quite scattered as well, wow. Like, I don't know what, like, we, when I just did part one, I had, like, a real direction, whereas this is, like, all over the place. So, there's some need for focus, part two. Your, um, your guides are saying focus, hone in on something. So there's there's like this bouncing energy that's going on that's saying oh here oh there oh what about this or oh, what about that no 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 let's get straight let's get focused even looking at this piece of 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 rock like the pieces of tourmaline converge into a point and it's almost like an arrowhead that actually looks like an arrowhead. So that's about your, your focus and your gain, like focusing and using your the ability of you being able to do it with this amazing sense of love. You can like, you know, you can really make that work. Okay, let's see what judgment Somebody didn't fulfill their side of the bargain. And it's disappointing. Oh, look at that. Two queens. Queen of wands and queen of coins. Love that. Six of swords. The hanged man reversed. Yeah. Okay. Four of pentacles. Ace of cups. This is about standing your ground, you know. Boundaries. This is about, like, really good boundaries. Um... They say that the people who are the happiest on this earth are the ones that, that have good boundaries. And that's what is really important for you to do. Like I think, um, and I think that you need to like, I'm, I'm trying to communicate with your higher self rather than me saying it. 
but your the hawk will allow you to come away and view this and view the situation because there's something that needs to be the foundation needs to be built um from a good space not from a space of like uh of needing wanting grabbing that kind of thing and then you've got the six of swords here with the hanged man you know there's still some kind of like work that needs to be done in the respect of of emotional and thought patterns um and your higher self is saying that there's still some way to go on that you know you're still going to have to convince some people of how you know this is going to work it's not going to just happen straight away um but you're powerful enough to do it you're really powerful and it looks like you've got some allies as well you've got power of manifestation and you've also got this power that's really interesting there's another snake here let me just find out what that snake is So my friends, this is the rainbow snake which um, formed rivers and um, water around this goddess who pretty much created the world. So this is like, it's really interesting how we go from something that's kind of like depleting life and taking advantage of it to, man to managing to transmute it into something that actually is giving life. So... It's almost like you may understand the experiences that you went through in the respect of this and you're able to turn it because whoever it was um, here, they didn't, they didn't really respond really well to you um, and they didn't answer the call. This may, you know what I'm getting also, the, the thing of where you were bigged up to have like a particular promotion at work and it didn't happen. You know, even though you had done everything that they said, you know, um, and then you've also got like, you know, the Ace of Cups where it's like this kind of idea of this abundance that may be there. Um, but then essentially, you know, there's still this kind of like glass ceiling that's occurring. So there's, there's almost like this shift to kind of like go elsewhere. And what I'm, se I'm seeing Sorry if you can hear shouting outside, some kids going mad outside. But, um, like, if... One second, my little friends. Sorry about that, my friends. Um, so, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> Let's pull some angel magic for you, my darlings. Sorry about that. Universal coherence. Your higher self, turquoise spectrum, about saying your truth, understanding the kind of balance of everything. The universal coherence matches with this hawk energy. Um, you know, you coming away and understanding how everything plays a part, you know. Because if you understand how some things work within a system, I mean, we don't have the Eight of Pentacles because that's the one card that would say to me about you understanding things that work in a system. But you need you need that kind of that kind of uh, perspective, and your higher self is saying to you that you you ha you need to draw out, take that perspective, but you also need to vocalize it as well. Like you need to, and also this this symbol here, which is the Unalome, which is this kind of um understanding of um the spiritual journey there is some th there's some need for like a greater sense of perspective because then you can see it all but the, with the turquoise spectrum this is about you being able to communicate through your heart so and knowing the right time of when to do it I think you understand that by this element of, you know, seeing where, and this might not be happening to you, but like seeing where people have been taken advantage of. Um, because it's either, I think it's either you or it's either you can see it going on. So what are you going to do about it? Do you know what I mean? Like what's going to happen about it? Um, and it really feels like a female energy empowering another female energy, particularly with this black cat here. And I love the fact that it's quite a big black cat. So there may be, you may have some, um, some connection with Jaguar energy. 
So let's, yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull you one of these to close out the reading. Higher Self. Higher Self Pile 2. So I feel like there's a review message I might need to give to you guys, but bear with me. Oh, you've got two. Two or three, I don't know. Okay, I just want one. I just want one. Higher self of pile, of pile, patience. I think you are very patient, pile two. Uh, pile, yeah, pile two. I think you are. But patience and divine timing. White Monte, Monte Cassino. I thought there's a Monte Cristo and yellow pansy. Very beautiful and delicate. Emulating that sense of patience. So, what I'm getting out of everything that your higher self is trying to say right now is that boundaries are really important here. Boundaries. This is the creation of the river. Boundaries. Guard them because they define who you are. When we when we our boundaries are not clear we end up going into a space where we there's a sense of codependency in order to see where the boundary uh, to see how you can formulate these boundaries it's about hawk um hawk's eye view uh, uh, an elevated view this may have come from a sense of um some ancestral trauma in the respect of pe parental guidance the, the, the higher self whenever the higher self communicates that they, they always kind of remind you of you know this this is programming don't forget it <laughs> yeah this is like this is it's it's some kind of programming that's happened to you so you're going to have to take that into account with this this is telling me that there's a that there may be a tendency to be involved with groups that do um highlight this sense of like taking advantage of, abusing situations, trying to get the best thing out of, uh, out of certain people, which is what this serpent energy is, is bringing across. And you need to like be really clear with it because you need to like protect your, that energy because that energy is very beautiful. That's what the crystal is saying. It's saying that this, this energy is very uh, rich, you know, so you might get certain entities feeding off of it or certain things feeding off of it. Um, divine timing. This is happening at the right time, exactly when it's supposed to. Um, you're you're supposed to learn this now for this for this time. Also, um, you to be able to like understand these lessons. It's all it's all supposed to happen for you to understand this insight. Um, you probably wouldn't have been able to see it before. Um, this possibly has to do with relationships. It could be to do with a platonic relationship or some other kind of relationship. Um, but whoever it is is not is not answering the call. They are not. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing um so that to me is saying that there's an abundance here which kind of like fits with that whole kind of energetic thing but um you know there's a kind of block here as well and also there's a sense of you needing to ascertain your boundaries as well um so that that needs to occur there's still some patterning that needs to go back you may need to like sort this situation out and then go back to this thing which is your own personal and it's interesting because it's a woman with a child so you may need to go back to to kind of sort that out but you know that this is going to trigger that kind of event now so that you can sort it out you've got support on the maternal side you've got really good support on the maternal side and be really clear with your boundaries it's, it's about boundaries universal coherence as well any other cards to pick for you no that's it um universal coherence is seeing things from the bigger picture and turquoise spectrum is about you really being clear with what you're communicating so that's what your higher self wants to say to you pile two incredible message seems like you've got a job to do my friends good luck um, but otherwise, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did like it, please like the video. Please subscribe for more because I'm really enjoying doing these pick of cards. Um, but yeah, I also do dailies as well. But um, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. You chose the Golden Healer Quartz, and your card for today is 
The spring. Wow. The spring. Nourishing kind of energy pile um, three. Some some real like water, the sense of this sense of healing is going on. Um, I'm just looking in the book to see what else spring is coming up. Um, but also I'm getting this sense of regeneration because of the night, how the how it's nighttime um, when we see this. Um, it's not it's not daylight and the spring. It's about the night. So there may be something about your dream time that might be quite important something to listen to in your dreams your higher self may be looking at trying to speak to you in your dreams pile three um okay yeah and there's kind of like this ethereal thing so maybe the things that you're thinking that might be actually clear they don't actually reveal themselves in such a clear way. She leans forward, seeking out answers and images from the pool. So there's a there's a sense of like almost scrying as well. Um, she has a desire to fit in, to belong to her kin. Um, allow the water to cure you. Yeah, exactly. Allow this water to to kind of soothe you, to help you. So your higher self is delivering a message of healing. It's wanting to heal you, pile three. It's wanting to give you some, some, um, some, a, a cup of soup and, um, <laughs> and like a nice big cuddly, a cuddle and a blanket. It's wanting to wrap you up warm. And, and really take care of you and tell you that it's going to be okay even though you're unsure about things okay so let's have a look at some astrology for you pile three the higher self higher self of pile three higher self of pile three what would you like to say to pile three pluto mm. then things are unsure aren't they <laughs> it is quite um it is quite intimidating isn't it Oh. Yeah, there's this sense of uncertainty pile um, three. It's like you don't know what's going to happen. Like you don't know what's going on. Um, and you're trying to seek answers, but the water is too dark. The moth. Hmm. Images fleeting. Things are things. I, I, I've just got a feeling that this is about you resting and regenerating because you know you have to you have to get into that space where you can. Um, and sometimes when you're in that, I don't know. You know when you've had a cold, and or you've had a fever, and you have some crazy dreams, right? You have some really really weird dreams. Yeah, that's that's the vibe I'm getting. Like you're you're not gonna know what those dreams mean. You're not gonna know what that that how these things like work out. You're not gonna you're not gonna see it clearly. But right now it's about you resting and understanding that there's a sense of delicacy that, that's going on here. Um This is very much like you know, thinking ahead. Um so almost like thinking of the thing that you need to be thinking of but then you're not you're not focusing on what you really need to be focusing on and that's causing a sense of exhaustion particularly when we've got this here um with Pluto um there's just that sense of unease but you're you're going through some kind of transformation which is why you have no idea um, about what's going on right now okay let's pull you a numerology card higher self all of them were reversed um self-discipline yeah 
that's what I got. Like there's 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 a bit of a lack of focus here. You know, even though there's this this sense of her looking down into the water, you, what are you looking at? Um, and Pluto is like is like looking into like a steam sauna. You can't see anything, and it's all like it's just you. It's just like clouds. So there's a sense of like the discipline within the self that needs to be there, and this is quite like wishy washy. So your higher self is saying to you that you need to you need to bring in some focus. You need to bring in some focus. And st that will help you to be more stable. Duality. Wow. Okay. Okay. I think that 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 would help because when you understand the concept of duality as opposed to thinking, "Oh yeah, everything is one" and all of that, you can get really lost in that concept. But whereas if we boil it down to the two fundamental components of like feminine and masculine, those, you know, th those two, the, the balance that we need in order to um, really like understand the principles, the basic principles of our, of our um, reality, then that helps us to like be like, okay, so at least I know that I can break it down into two, sec two sides, two sections. Now I can concentrate on one and now I can concentrate on, on the other. Now I can kind of like see which sides are kind of in need of balance, you know, it's the yin and the yang. So, and one can't survive without the other. So there's that sense that's going on. Okay. Let's see what the tarot has to say about your situation, pile three. Pile three's higher self, what would you like to say to pile three? Pile three's higher self, what would you like to say to pile three? Pile three's higher self, what would you like to say to pile three? Pile three's higher self, what would you like to say to pile three? Thank you so much for being quite clear in your... <laughs> sometimes the cards have gone sideways and i'm just like really um seven of cups the full reverse six of coins high priestess yeah there's this energy where you just need to stay put <laughs> you st stop going around all over the place stop it stay put we don't have the Four of Swords, which is the ultimate rest card or the Hermit, but we do have things that are saying that you will be active in this space, but you will be stuck, you know, in a, in a, you, you will have to stay put. You know, this High Priestess, I love it because it's Shazarade from A Thousand and One Nights. And she told a tale for One Thousand and One Nights to keep her life. You know, she was stuck in that palace and she had to think up of, different tales to entertain the prince the sultan so that she wouldn't die and then on the last one she got he he decided he wanted to marry her um because there was a thing about the you know about women um had done the sultan wrong so he'd been cheated by a woman so his son um took action on it um and, and uh, persecuted all of the women so what's really interesting is that there's a there's a reality check here. Maybe you've been in a situation and your higher self is telling you that maybe you've been you've been thinking of things that that really are just dreams. They're things that don't don't really you haven't been focusing on the reality of the situation. Um there's a bit of a dreamer kind of energy that's going on here and it's very ethereal but it needs to be grounded. It needs to be like, you know, and this is why golden healer is really good because it's quartz. And it's also the sense that you, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of like locking down with that yellow energy as well. And it's slightly orange and also brown. You're locking down into the first three chakras, which are the basic chakras, the um, root, Muladhara, Sahasra, the, um, the uh, sacral, and then Manipura, which is the mid chakra. So those chakras are going to really, those are the three basic chakras to help you kind of root down rather than you being like up in the higher chakras. I've spent so much time in those higher chakras and like I, I need to do extra stuff to make sure that I'm grounded, like walking in nature um, and also writing things down. If you do exercise, you know, routines are really good for that because then that stops you from kind of going into this space and that helps you to rest and regenerate. And then that's when we get back to this idea of self-discipline. Um, by the way, this is all your higher self saying this to you. It's not just me. <laughs> it's like, I was like, I was like, just make sure that they know that this is their higher selves and not me just um, 
telling them that they need to do this. But yeah, your higher self is saying to you that you need to get your head out of the clouds and your head out of like staring at things and being quite flitty and you need to get a bit more focused. The fool reversed, definitely. Don't take any big risks. Don't take any big risks yet because you've got work to do. You've got work to do because there needs to be some rebalancing Right now, you're not in a position where you can actually do that. You will be in a position where you will be able to move forward. Um, but currently, you're in a state of kind of... Uh, it's almost like you're the chrysalis. You're inside the chrysalis and you're actually like... You're working and you're being the... You're, you're, you're creating the butterfly. But you're like, what am I doing? You know, what, what am I doing here? You know, you don't actually... There may be a period where you're not that busy and you have to just just state and it's like, what am I doing? And I feel like that that's what's going on because you don't know when you're not busy. It's 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 difficult to just sit still. And I think that that's what the um, kind of energy is here that that your higher self is trying to put towards you. Um, I want to take one of these. I'm so sorry about that. My bell fell over. Sorry about that, my friends. <laughs> okay, let's see what these... Okay, right. So this is your higher self communicating with other extraterrestrial beings um, to get some kind of get some kind of insight and help from them. And what does that say? It says the Alpha Centurions and foresight, planning and strategy. Get a plan in place. A plan, that's what this is about. It's about a plan. It's about being able to be strategic. It's about understanding where you're at. Um, I'll read you a little bit from here because I don't know too much about the Alpha Centurions. Um, but uh, yeah, they're basically like, um, what are they? So their strategic negotiations, uh, they, they're tactical, foresight, hindsight, focus, direct. So, and you can see he's kind of like almost playing chess, isn't he? So there's that sense of um, being very, um, oh, look at that. Sources suggest that Alpha Centurions are intolerant of disrespect and over-idealized fantasies that are not in not keeping with the natural law. So they're telling you to get your feet on the ground. <laughs> um, make sure that you're working within the natural law. What does that mean? That means like that you understand that you're not... If, if you're looking for clarity, understand that... Look, look at the world around you and look at how nature works. That will help you rather than having this kind of flitty energy. Quite a tough love message, Paul. <laughs> Part three, sorry about this. It's not just me, it's your higher selves that are saying this. Okay, well, let's have a look at some movements forward to help you. Three of Pentacles. Other people are going to help you out here, other people. Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's almost like you have to walk away from this, like, um, way of being. It's almost like you have to, um, like, you, you've had a one way of doing things, um, and you need to get out of it. Okay, you've got two. Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, uh, you're going to have to um, toss everything out, like, I always see the seven of pentacles as kind of like plowing new ground, starting again, but starting again in the respect that you have, like, like, you know, you know that you can, you can start again with your, with your tools, like starting again from scratch and starting again from when you've done it before is very different. You know, you're going to be all right in that respect. And this ten of pentacles is saying that you've got the support, um, but um, there may be some kind of instances where you want to break out of that. You don't want to be in a space where it's kind of like a preconceived idea. You want to you want to create your own idea in that respect. Um, and in order to do that, you need to be like rested. You need to you need to make things clear. Um, and the only way you can do that is by just allowing yourself to like have that sense of rest 
and taking a step back introducing some form of self-discipline that's going to help you to like like knuckle down some kind of routine that's going on within your your kind of self at the moment your your higher self is begging you to do that and it's saying that it will help you it's saying it will help you and you know nobody's going to think any worse of you for it this is something that you need to walk away from i feel like you know this i feel like this is a cycle that you've been going through and you need to like you need to jump out of it Okay, so let's get you some angelic magic and then I will close out with an enchanted blossom. Archangel Chamuel, gateway of direction. What was I saying? <laughs> Thanks, Spirit. Thank you. Your higher self is like going, yeah. And passion. So if you, where is your passions, right? Where is your passions? Your passions will help you. They will help you. Um, and when you when you kind of get into the spaces of, of working with those three lower chakras, it will help you to connect to Svadhisthana, which will, which will help you generate some kind of passion that will tell you which direction to go in. You know, it could even start with you like liking um, a particular type of workout. And you just start with that and do that every day. Just see what happens. And then you start building up on routines, you know, with around that. And then that will help you to create the self-discipline that you need. And then you can kind of like, you know, that, that can help you just gain some direction out of this like lack of clarity that's going on here. So I hope that that helped, my darlings. Um, your higher self is kind of like, it feels like a kind of personal trainer at the moment. So uh, <laughs> I'm just... I hope that that made some sense. Um, if it did, please like the video. Please do subscribe for more um, videos. Um, I post every day, uh, daily videos, but I also do pick a cards every week. Um, I'm just trying to think, any more messages? No, no, you're all good. It's saying to you, tough love. That's what I'm going to give to you. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, lots of love, my darlings. Have a beautiful day. Bye.